Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here in today's numismatic news and information for the 10th day of May 2022. I'd like to welcome you over to Jam Bullion to look at the spot prices. Looks like gold is down 70 cents to 1861.98. Silver is up 3 cents to 2206. Platinum down 11 cents to 969.39. And palladium up 30 cents to 2151.43. In stock silver, you're looking at 1045. Our next stop today is going to be the United States Mint. And there's a couple things I'd like to talk to you about today. And the first one being, well, where is it? There it is with that frosty privy mark. That's a commemorative coin with a Negro Leagues Baseball 2022 proof silver dollar with that frosty privy mark. There it is. Bam! It is now shipped. So if you did purchase this, it is um, you probably got the notice um, that it'll be in your hot little hands very, very soon. And um, what does that mean for the sales on eBay now, right? Um, does that mean that the uh, finally that it's in hand, not on um now back order or processing or even um you know any of that nature it's finally here and you know they said it was an april 27 ship date but obviously we're looking at may 9 when we get that shipping notice just yesterday so that is going to be outstanding comes in the clamshell and has that privy mark what does that mean for ebay now right now that these are going to start um finding their way into people's homes and their possessions right so here let's head over to ebay Got the thing here newly listed right there's five results i probably have it uh let me close this or at least narrow the scope a little bit on this search so uh i got the silver dollar privy mark let me go ahead and put the beginning date there and it's probably going to come up with five again watch i probably there we go six results all right so but yeah it looks like one new listing so i would imagine when these start to have uh get, they get de um, delivered into your mailbox we're going to start seeing a lot more of these listings on ebay and what's that going to do for the price of these particular ones that are 129 with five dollars shipping i'm not sure but there's a lot of them here with 170 175 200 dollars um and that's for the graded one is 200 so do you buy that one now knowing that that it's a, it's a uh, 70 and that you can buy this for 180 from Canada, you know, we're going to find out here um, since there's only about six or seven results for the frosty privy mark. Now to the next stop here, it's going to continue on to the United States Mint. It is the proof set from 2022. That's right. And I think this one is so undervalued um, right now. Um, it has a potential to be a really remarkable set. Now we obviously know it's the inaugural year for the American Women quarters so you get those five quarters and then you get the five circulating coins for 2022 well i don't think that kennedy half dollars circulating this year but you never know the fed could order them like they did last year right so here we are we are at the proof set for 2022 it is 32 dollars. it features those five coins we talked about it's accompanied by the certificate of authenticity and i believe it is uh still david j Ryder's signature on that certificate right um and 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 i'll tell you it was it's only 32 dollars but will it be 32 dollars for the rest of the year i don't know and will it even survive the rest of the year right so how many of these are left as of now so it's here 64,763 and seven sixty four thousand seven hundred sixty one. all right so well how many of these are selling per week yeah well, let's go to coinnews.net there's an article from last week and i i'm i'm just bummed that i had to use last week's numbers uh because the new numbers aren't up yet this morning and that's why I, there's a little bit of a delay on the video this morning but it says here um the proof set sales for the last week yeah it was the number three spot look at that 2022 proof set sold 5167 now if that's the case and there's only 64,000 of them that puts us, I don't know, probably just, what, until the end of July, mid-July, until these are gone at that rate. Now, will we be selling 5000 per week for the next, you know, up until the end of July? Maybe, maybe not. Um, and could the United States Mint add more um, to this particular set? Yes, they could, but they haven't yet, and I've been watching it like a hawk. And could it be, you know, like the American Women Quarters Proof and Silver Proof sets where you get what you get and you don't throw a fit right so here we go the year of the limited release is continuing right maybe um maybe not for those american silver eagles it wasn't a limited release for those but there's certainly quite a demand because those <laughs> they sold out almost immediately uh that was incredible but there we go for the proof set from 2022 it only has 64,000 sets 
left. And at 5000 per week, I mean, do the math. Those are going to be gobbled up rather quickly. And what does that mean for a proof set to be unavailable by the end of July? You know, I mean, you got August, September, October, November, December of 2022 to still sell these products for even gifts for uh, the holidays and they won't be available so i imagine if people don't get these uh now they're going to be have to pick these up on the secondary market for these proof sets right and what is the price price for the proof sets on the secondary market well no love no love at all um you're looking at 42.95 42.95 and that's pretty much the going rate you know about 40 dollars a set with the free shipping and um, I think that's temporary. I think that's temporary because we're going to see a price hike if these do end up surviving um, past July. Past, I mean, it could. We could even see a hike before July, before the inventory runs out, if it does run out. Um, and that would make these very, very affordable at these prices. So, you know, you never know. Um, but then again, this is the American Women Quarters in there too. First year, inaugural year, and people are going to be making jewelry out of these uh you watch i'm telling you i've seen it already um now i'm going to move on to the next one here i wanted to show you this now 18 results for the 2022 pds wilma man killer rolls and people already said it's rare rare and you know why it says it's rare because guess what we know from the enrollments page on the united states mints uh let me go to shop actually i'm probably already there yeah, there we go. Product enrollments. I'll show you the women man killer uh, quarters. And they're saying it's rare because, well, it is actually because we've compared the numbers already. And we're going to compare the PDS set right here. I mean, look at this. All the enrollments are on Remind Me. Isn't that incredible? And so they know it's rare because product limit has been given right here. 7,504. And that can be just for the enrollments. But... Mm, you never know with the United States Mint. And that does put us right around the mintages, right, for the uh, Sally, Dr. Sally Ride quarters and the Maya Angelou quarters. So I don't suspect that that number is a lie. I don't suspect that it's going to go any higher than that. And because of that, like Tiny Numismatic said, this one is going to be the least minted out of all of them. And uh, kudos to you, Tiny. I think you might be exactly 100% correct on this. 259, 215, 214, 215, 210, 199. And, uh, you know, if you look at the Maya Angelou and the Dr. Sally Ride quarters right now, they're about 199 to 210. And if you can get more than that, I'd say you're pretty lucky. But, you know, I think the Man Killers, just, I mean, just that name. <laughs> wow right? It's a powerful name, such a strong name. What does that do just for that name, right? That recognition, that's incredible. So here's this quarter, um, like Tiny Numismatic says, is probably going to be the one of the year to get. Now off to the plus ones today, and there's actually two videos I'd like to share with you. Number one is Maneco 64 like, share, and subscribe. Fed warns its own policy could lead to market mayhem and recession. Excellent information here. It's about 26 minutes. Uh, I always do the uh, playback speed of what, 1.25 to 1.5. That way you can get through more, more quickly. And then the next video I have here is only hard money survives a hard landing and other end game stories from Rafi Farber. Excellent video there. And, um, oh, yes, one other thing. Being a good person does not depend on your religion, status in life, race, skin color, political views, or culture. It depends on how you treat others. And there you go. And that's from IamPoopsy.com. And I don't even think that's a live website anymore. But either way, there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker, out.